All right, welcome back to the channel. So I imported, uh, real quick, I just imported this code. It's going to be the AI for the uh, zombies. Uh, so I got to set up a bunch of stuff. So instead of all this mess, uh, we're going to need that. Delete the random. Um, then we want an always Python patrol.py. Uh, and I will leave a link to where I got this. It's actually from another YouTube video. I use this code uh, religiously um, for like all my AI. Just because I love having the unpredictability of it. So. One thing we're going to need to figure out is. How do we do. The nav mesh. Because I've always had issues with the nav mesh. So. We might just create it with the water. We'll figure it out. So we are going to need a steering. And real quick, what we need to do is add waypoints. Um, so we're going to add those waypoints real quick. We are going to do add empty plane axis. One thing I've never figured out is if Blender has a uh, zoom to object feature. I don't know if it does. So anyways, we are calling this point one I believe uh, let's check let's open up the text editor uh, waypoint one waypoint two waypoint three waypoint four waypoint five so it's looking for five waypoints we can add more but five is decent so we are going to go ahead and go into the logic bricks editor and give this a game property of uh what's the property waypoints waypoint i guess uh, let's see, does it tell us? I downloaded another file that has this, so we're going to go ahead and find... If this mouse doesn't stop, I'm going to throw it at a wall. I'm not even playing. I hate this mouse so much. It doesn't work properly. So real quick, I just need to extract extract that. All right, world updated. I hope this is the right file. Cause I don't remember how to set up the waypoint thing, so I needed a I need an example. They are. This is it. So. If we go here, rendered, oops, actually, don't save, we need to go to downloads and open up another UPBGE file. Downloads, Alien Updated, World, there we go, 
allow execution rendered. Come on. Oh, whoa, he just sprinted at something. Oh. Oh, he's just sprinting at the player. All right. Um, initial state one. What is that? Okay, here he is sinking into the floor. Well, let me try looking at this from top down. Where is he going? He's going to this waypoint right here. Oh no, he's not. He doesn't know what he's doing. He is broken. So anyways, um, I'm gonna put this over here. On my other monitor, you won't be able to see it, but um, it's there. So, I'm just looking at the properties, waypoints, two points. Oops. This will be one. It's the player. All right, so let's find where we put our zombie guy. Right here. Give him the property enemy. Oops. Timer, and it will be a timer. Um, not sure if it needs to be so complex. Steering. Seek. Oh, we didn't name it. We need to name this all right <clears throat> let's see how it does without a nav mesh does it need a nav mesh It needs all the waypoints, that's for sure. Oh, go away. So let's look at the uh, controls for the waypoints. So do a near prop near property enemy. Message reached. State two. And the reason why it goes into another state is so that 
it doesn't get so that the AI doesn't keep going back to this one and getting stuck. So we're gonna have it go into another state for a second to cool down. So it's got a cool down state. So I'm gonna give it a delay of 600 and state one. Maybe we'll do four corners and center. This water, I'm just going to scale it up. There we go. What is this? Waypoint 101. We're going to call this waypoint 2. Give it the property 2. Duplicate on the y axis. Where? There it is. All right. Point three, give this the property of three. Property of four and a point five will be right here. So cursor waypoint five with the property of five. <coughs> now he needs a nav mesh which is going to be difficult Let's see if he does something nah he's just going to stand there it looks like <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Oh boy. going to be used to create the nav mesh so we don't need him going in the water so we're going to go ahead and delete a lot of this I'm just going to get the border fill it in there's something satisfying about it, about doing this. I don't know what it is. Faces. All right. Uh, where 
is it? Uh, oh, yeah. Ooh, it'll be up here. So, is it in here? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, right there. So, raise. Navigation mesh. Build. Did it build it? Yes, it did. This is the nav mesh. This is the broken terrain. All right, so now what we can do is give him the nav mesh. And now let's see if he'll do something. <laughs> Still not doing anything. Oh, damn this mouse. Um, let me see what I'm doing wrong here. So, always true. Let me look at the script over here. not have it say import BGE oh, I can't see hold up we're just going to control C delete control V Well, now he's doing stuff, so that's good. Um, oh, we need to turn that off. Turn off the seek player. No, it's not it. He's like trying to get to all of them at the same time. Super not cool. Um, hmm. He's stuck. How do we get him walking now? That's what we need. Always 
sensor here. And, uh, oh my god, I need to stop yawning. Have it like that. Always send a message. Still playing idle. Steering is a little fast. Velocity one. Turn its friction down. I'm going to try turning its friction down. This property player will go to state two. State two always message walk. Steering, seek, player AI, nav mesh, and we're gonna set that there. Velocity one. There he goes. He's off to chase the player. Player. Alright. Now, does this actually have the property? Property. Player. Alright, let's see what happens. Let's go find him. I don't even know where we are. So the game is looking pretty nice right now. So that's good. Probably out there glitching. I need to add a run because this is taking forever. Did he fall? He is tiny, which I was kind of expecting him to look tiny like that, but it shouldn't be working. He shouldn't be able to go down there. But at least he can go up steep hills, so that's good, I guess. Whoa. 
Okay. We are definitely having some issues with him. He's just flying. Is that his physics? Yeah, he's such a dynamic. Why does this bypass his physics? We might not be able to use this landscape, to be honest. Hmm. Just look at him go. So we need to set his speed to 0 0.7 for that, so that he's not gliding. I just can't wait to get this scene decorated. Is he flying again? I don't know. I think he is. Yes. Why is he flying? So bizarre. me Sorry, I'm just happy that this is working right now. I mean, other than him floating, but it's all dandy. We're going to change 
Oh, what's up, my mouse? I'm just gonna change this timer real quick and then I think I'm gonna call it a day for this video. We've been going at it for about 30 minutes now. So. Um. There we go. See, hold up. Does he like? Will he fall? Does he fall? No, he just doesn't give a shit about gravity. He just doesn't care. I mean, he is falling, but so slowly. Uh, let's try turning his mass up. Now it falls a little faster, I think. It's not doing anything. No damping. I might have to turn the gravity up just to get it to work properly. Alright, so that'll be it. Um, that works, I guess. Let's just see what happens. There he goes. Now he moves faster than he falls, so I don't know what to do. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, once this project is done, I'm going to upload it to a website and give a download link. So thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.